Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today is Friday which means it is flashback Friday time and for this week's video we're taking the Sassy Sienna's palette by Dose of Colors. I'm in love with this palette. I just brought this palette up in my Wednesday video, my all about eyeshadow palette tag. I'll try to link that above here. I was going through my collection and I stumbled across this palette and I was like I have not used that palette in a hot minute and I love this palette. I love all the Dose of Colors little five pan eyeshadow palettes and I just wanted to use it in a flashback Friday video, show it some love, create a beautiful copper smoky eye. Mm, I love this makeup look so much. Uh, so yeah, if you want to see how I got this look, go ahead and keep on watching. Vogue, I'm ready for my glamour shots now. Could you imagine if I came on? I'm like, okay, here's the finished look. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. I have like uneven eyebrows right now and concealer covering all of my blemishes, but like, this is it. Let's go. Ready to hit the clubs. All right, let's go ahead and dive into this look. I'm going to take my Anastasia Beverly Hills eye primer and prep and prime my lids. I do already have my eyebrows drawn on, obviously, and I did carve them out with some concealer to make them nice and clean and sharp and crispy. One time I was doing somebody's makeup and I carved out the underneath portion of their eyebrows and I'm like, how did you make my eyebrows look so crispy? And I'm like, I have never heard someone describe eyebrows as crispy. I've heard crisp. But she literally said, how did you make my eyebrows crispy like that? And I just, I'll never forget that. And now every time I carve out my eyebrows, I think of that moment. I have started applying this eye primer with a brush ever since, mm, I think it was last week's Flashback Friday. So for a week now, <laughs> I've been applying this with a brush because it just, it works really, really well. And I feel like I don't use as much product. You don't need a lot of this product anyways when you apply it, but... I feel like I use even less with a brush than when I did with a little sponge. So either way works, but the brush is kind of the move right now with this. All right, and today we are using my Dose of Colors Sassy Sienna palette. Ooh, I hate packaging like this because it looks so blinding on camera. Like it's cute packaging in person, don't get me wrong, but on camera, I don't want to like blind you guys, but all my lighting is like but bam here's what it looks like it's a really cute little warm tone palette if you only wear like warm tone shades and you want just a simple palette to have that's cute compact easy to travel with i would check out this palette by dose of colors because it's just like the perfect like one and done palette you know and i think they just recently updated their packaging on these palettes and they look more like sleek and not as reflective they look really cool i'm almost jealous that i already own <laughs> this palette because now like i don't need to buy the new packaging you know i'm gonna take this shade right here in the middle and buff that into my crease with a big old fluffy brush these shadows are quite pigmented let me give you guys like a mini review real quick um <laughs> no but really these shadows are so pigmented i feel like nobody ever talks about dust of colors eyeshadows and they're so so pigmented, so buttery, so blendable. And like, I don't even talk about them that often. I don't know why that is. Um, I do think they're kind of pricey for like the amount of product you get. Like at least these little ones, the Dust of Colors uh, Frankation palette that Desi and Katie collaborate with them on. That one I didn't think was too expensive for the amount of product you get, but these, they're kind of pricey for like the amount of shadows, you know? So I think that's why I don't talk about them a ton. They're worth it, like a thousand percent worth it in my opinion, but yeah they are kind of pricier but god they're so good like look at that look at that honestly they do remind me a lot of like anastasia shadows from like their 14 pan eyeshadow palettes you know i think the pro pigment palettes are a bit different in formula in comparison to the 14 ones from anastasia but these shadows the dose of colors ones remind me of like anastasia like soft glam quality you know that's the vibe i get i'm gonna deepen the crease up using this shade right here i guess they do have names um I think this one is called Bossy. I don't know. The names are on the back of the palette, which I kind of hate when brands do that. I wish they were on the front. There is like no room really for names in the front of this palette, but it just kind of annoys me. Like just don't name them if you're gonna put the names on the back, you know? I'm focusing this on like the outer corner in the center of my crease. I'm not gonna take it too far up. I wanna build like definition with this look. This is gonna be a very basic look, not gonna lie to you guys. Like this is not gonna be like an extravagant flashback Friday. Wow, I'm loving these tones. I, I've just been really into my warm tones recently. I've always been like a warm tone kind of girl, but I stick usually with like the neutrally warm tones. And this is like getting very warm, very orange, very fall even though it's almost June. 
it's almost my birthday, oh my God. Ah. <laughs> One thing I will say that's missing from this palette for me personally is a black because I just, I always need a black eyeshadow. So we're not gonna be using a black today, but like in my soul, I wanna use a black, but we're just, it's fine, it's fine, make it work. I'm gonna take this flat little packing brush from Morphe, this is the Morphe M456. And I'm gonna take the deepest shade right there and place that in my outer corner. Yeah, like I said, this looks pretty basic, but it's pretty. The thing is with these palettes, like there's only five shades, like there's only so much you can really do. If you expand your thought process, you could do like a halo, you could do a half cut crease, you could do a lot of things, I'm just being, I guess, lazy. I think when I used the Marvelous Mauves palette in a Flashback Friday, I did a halo. I could completely be making that up though, do not quote me. But I just wanna do like a messy, like half cut crease. I thought about just keeping this matte, but I kinda wanna grab a Super Shock Shadow and pack that on my lid just to give it a pop. But well, this is super pretty. You could totally keep it matte. You could clean it up and use like this shade on the first half of your lid. Ooh, mm, not today, not today. Okay, I'm gonna grab this Super Shock Shadow from ColourPop because I think it's gonna be perfect with this eye look. I think it's gonna just, mm, chef's kiss, you know? This is from ColourPop's Peach Collection. It's the shade in Axis. I do think this is a permanent shadow as well. Like I think this has always been available. They just like include it in the Peach Collection. I'm not too sure. ColourPop, love you to death, but you release way too much. I don't know what is a part of what anymore. Like I have no idea. I can't even tell you half of the names of the products on their website because it's just overwhelming. I think I'm just gonna use my finger, I guess. I'm just gonna use my finger to apply the Super Shock. That generally works better anyways. Oh my God, mm, look at that. Mm. Might be hard for you guys to see on camera, but uh, super shocks make me feel some type of way. They're just so freaking pretty. I'm not gonna be like too precise here. I want this to be like a half cut crease, but like a messy, like smoky, sexy, sultry kind of half cut crease. I don't know. I'm just gonna like pop this literally all over the first half of my lid and then I'll go back in with some brushes and like clean it up a little bit, but I just really wanna get that color on there. God, it's so pretty. It's like this really pretty orangey, corally, gorgeous, beautiful color. Like I want this eye look to be the eye look I'm buried in. Like just a very beautiful, blown out, smoky, orangey look. It looks so freaking pretty with like blue green eyes. Like look at my eyeballs with this look. Isn't it cute? I'm gonna go back in with a fluffy brush and kind of just clean up my edges here, my crease to make everything look more blended. Same thing with like the outer corner out here. I'm just gonna like Make sure we're not looking like a fool. I do want to do a little schwing, little wing liner action moment. So I'm going to take my Anastasia Beverly Hills liner. I didn't want to do a wing that was like too thick. I wanted to keep it pretty like thin and just elegant, like a nice elegant wing, you know? Okay, I'm going to use some mascara. We are going to pop false lashes on as well, but you know, I have like blonde eyelashes and you really can't just put fake ones on top of them without mascara, because it'll be very, very obvious. Not that it's not obvious I'm wearing fake eyelashes, but, you know. To men that don't wear makeup, they don't understand that my lashes are fake. That has become very apparent to me recently. Like, you really think I have like 14 inch eyelashes coming out of my lids here? Thank you for thinking I have the capabilities of growing something that perfect. All right, gonna pop some lashes on now. All right, so that is the eyes all complete, at least the top half. I'm gonna go ahead and do my foundation base off camera because that's just boring, you know, not fun. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I'll be right back to finish off the rest of the face. I just feel more put together when I have a cake face of foundation. So now I feel more like a bad bitch. I'm always a bad bitch. Let's get that straight, first of all. But I just I feel better about myself with a full face of foundation. But now we need to add some bronzer, blush, highlight, lips, finishes, lower lash line so I can be a goddess. Let's get cracking. Let's get cracking. Who am I? For bronzer, I'm gonna take my Heat Wave Luminous Bronzer by Flower Beauty. The packaging is busted to shit. Please don't mind that. I'm gonna bronze my cheeks, forehead, jawline, and use this to contour my nose as well. I have like hit pan on this bronzer in such a short period of time. Well, not like super short, but I've had this only maybe like a year and a half-ish. Mm. Maybe a bit longer than that, but I've definitely not had it that long. 
and I have to paint on this. This and my Milani bronzer are what I go back and forth with. And I've hit pan on both of them now. <laughs> so I think it might be time for a new bronzer here soon. I was a girl in the village doing all right. Then I became a princess overnight. Contour this schnoz. I wish my nose just always looked like this, like the way it does a contour. <laughs> I would be a lot less insecure about it if that was the case. Fun fact, the only reason I'm even a little bit insecure about my nose is because in high school, oh, I will never forget this because it has just stuck with me. And that is why we don't bully folks. But in high school, some, some douchebag kid, he said something really mean about girls wearing makeup. Like he made some comment about girls wearing makeup and I called him clowns. And I told him like he was being rude. That's all I said was that he was being rude. And he said, shut up pig nose. And I just haven't um, liked my nose ever since. So thank you. Tyler. It's always a Tyler. Always. They're douches. Sorry if you're a Tyler watching this and you're not a douche, but your people are douches. But yeah, thank you, Tyler, for making me feel insecure about my nose. I've never forgot that moment. I'm just taking some translucent powder and cleaning up the underneath portion of where I did my bronzer because sometimes I get carried away and I take it too low and that can make my face look even whiter. So I like to keep my bronzer like generally above this line right here is like imaginary line from like my earlobe down to my lip. Generally speaking, I want to keep the area clean, so. For blush, I'm taking my Anastasia Peachy Love Blush Trio. Is it getting annoying that I use this blush trio so much? Because if it is, just let me know, but I love it. Just look at that color. Ah, especially like with these copper tone eyes, it just makes sense. I could justify using this blush though for like any look. It just makes sense to wear this blush with like a cool tone black smoky eye, you know? But no, really, like I wear this blush too damn much. Like I'm annoying myself with it. But it's so pretty. And I love putting on the tip of my nose and like a little bit on the forehead. I'm just a whore for blush. And I know it looks really weird right now. And I say this in every video, you gotta trust the process. This is a lot of blush right now. I agree. But it warms up to my face. I put highlighter on and it's just like a whole vibe, you know? So just, I look like a clown right now in the moment a little bit just a pinch but it gets better i'm gonna go ahead and finish off my lower lash line now all i'm gonna do is just take these three shades i used in my crease and use them in my lower lash line lightest shade going the farthest down and then deepening up to the lash line it's the same thing i do all the time with every look ever i know it's like probably really boring again but like, what am I supposed to really do, though? Especially with, like, again, this five-pan eyeshadow palette. There's only so much I can do lower lash line-wise. I'm trying to find a brush here, and I'm, like, struggling. I have too many damn eye brushes, I think. But also, at the same time, not enough. It's, it's a horrible life I live. Okay, so taking that middle shade right there, I'm going to put this on my lower lash line from inner to outer corner and buff it pretty far down. I've been loving, like, the really really intense lower lash line recently i just think it's really pretty okay now taking this sienna shade right there i'm gonna deepen my lower lash line up also taking this from inner outer corner but not dragging it as far down and then taking this darkest shade right here and putting it right against my lash line for liner my waterline i didn't want to use a black because i just feel like that'd be too harsh like i like the whole orangey peachy vibe i have going here and i just thought black in the waterline might be like to Halloween-y, so I'm gonna take this brown liner from ColourPop, I believe it's called Overboard, it's like a shimmering brown liner, and pop that in your waterline. I think the shimmer in this liner will complement this look really well. I'm gonna pop some mascara onto my lower lashes. I do wanna go on with highlighter next, but I'm gonna spray my face with setting spray to make the highlighter stick better. I don't know why, I just feel the need to talk with my hands today. Probably because I have rings on, I just feel like a bad bitch when I have rings on. Anyways, spraying my face now. For highlighter, I'm busting out my Makeup Revolution Times Soap X highlighter palette, and I think I'm gonna mix um, pretty much the entire first row minus that super white shade, because I wanna keep my highlighter bronzy because my skin and all my look is very like warm and bronzy and just wanted to be a vibe. So I'm mixing these three shades together. Popping it on my cheekbones, oh my God. <laughs> Ah! <laughs> nothing will ever make me as happy as applying highlighter to my face. Like, nothing will give me these feels. Oh! <laughs> I look like Rudolph, but with highlighter! No! <laughs> I don't even know what 
the wrong there. Oh my, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Um. Okay, well, you know what? We're just gonna, like, look like that for a minute. I'm gonna put this above my brow here. Cupid's bow. A little bit on the chin. Oh my god, my nose. That was not supposed to happen. Um, let me take some face powder and maybe, like, dull it down a little bit. Why do I feel like everything's making it worse? <laughs> no! You know what? We're just gonna roll with it. It's fine. You know what? Rudolph needed a glowing highlighter girlfriend, and I am here to serve you, Rudolph. Don't tell my mans that I'm leaving him for a reindeer. So I want to keep my lips pretty nude because it just, it makes sense. I'm going to take my NYX Butter Lipstick in the shade Boardwalk. And then I'm going to take ColourPop Moonchild Gloss. And then just to be a little more extra, I'm going to take my Dessel Colors Gloss in the shade Brillo. I know, you don't need to use three different lip products. A nude glossy lip is all this requires, but I just, I want to be extra. Now I'm going to set my face one last time to lock all this in. All right, I'm going to do my hair off camera because this is just not acceptable. And I will be right back. All right, guys, and here is the finished and completed look with my hair and makeup all did. I know you guys didn't care about my hair being done or not, but um, I just feel better now that it's done. So <laughs> here we are. I hope you guys enjoyed this week's Flashback Friday. If you have any future Flashback Friday palette recommendations, let her go know down below. I love you guys so much, and hopefully I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.